Let's talk about the isothermal expansion and compression for an ideal gas. Isothermal means the temperature doesn't change. And if the temperature doesn't change for an ideal gas, the energy and the enthalpy don't change. Remember the energy of an ideal gas, 3 halves nRT. So isothermal processes, delta E and delta H, are zero. So how can heat flow or work be done if the energy doesn't change? Well, the work and heat just have to balance each other with opposite sign. If you do a joule of work on the system, the system has to lose a joule of heat. Joule for joule. Do a joule of work, lose a joule of heat. Do a joule of work, lose a joule of heat. If I expand, the system does work. So I do a joule of work, that would, well, that's some of my energy. I need more energy to replace the energy I just used to do that work. Well, absorb a joule of heat. Do a joule of work, absorb a joule of heat. Balance them out one for one. So in an expansion, the system does work. We give that a negative sign because it lowers the internal energy. But I can absorb heat. Give that heat a positive sign, and the energy stays constant. Compression, I do work on the system. That tends to raise its internal energy. But I can lose that energy by letting a joule of heat leave the system. That's expansion and contraction isothermally for an ideal gas.